ancient Egypt before the pharaohs, but not according to conventional archaeologists. The more we find concerning Egypt, the more questions are left unanswered. Ra ascended to heaven and Osiris became pharaoh of Egypt with Isis and they built Thebes. This is what ancient Greek Plutarch says. Ra ascended to heaven. Osiris became pharaoh of Egypt with Isis and they built Thebes. Have you ever thought of pre-pharaonic Egypt and its rulers, but not according to scholars? Then we'll see what Egypt was like before the pharaohs, based on ancient texts written many, many years ago. In ancient Egypt, before the first mortal pharaoh, Menes Narmer, ruled the lands of Egypt, there were other kings and or what they called deities, and in particular, those who came from above who ruled over this earth. And we bring to mind the Tully Papyrus, the witnessing of a pharaoh in the Giza area, who witnessed the landing of UFOs and extraterrestrials in the Giza Plateau. He called them the overlords of Egypt. So, in this uh, time, pre-pharaohic Egypt, Egypt remains a great mystery to most Egyptologists because they cannot accept what is written in the ancient texts because they go directly against the beliefs of most historians, archaeologists, and Egyptologists. Quote, those who came from above who ruled over this earth, end quote. That seems to point to extraterrestrials. The time before 3000 BC, the date of first pharaoh, the first pharaoh appeared in Egypt, is a great enigma. It's no secret that the ancient Egyptians considered their civilization as the inheritance of the gods, who were not natives, nor did they come from any other part of the earth, but came from elsewhere, from space. Pre-Pharaonic Egypt seems to support this theory. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. One of the most important ancient texts that tells us more about history is the Papyrus of Turin, which lists the pharaohs who ruled ancient Egypt. Not only does it include all the official historical pharaohs of ancient Egypt, but it also mentions deities or gods, quote unquote, who came from above, who landed in Egypt before the first mortal pharaoh of Egypt with a genealogy that spreads over 13,000 years. So that was before the Younger Dryas Comet impact, before the sinking of Atlantis. Scholars consider this ancient text to be a pure myth, and most of its details have been overlooked and omitted from history books. They seem to have no ancestors or periods of development. They appear to have appeared during the night. This is what English Egyptologist Toby Wilkinson says. There are some scholars who believe that, they, that by calculating the information obtained from the papyrus of Turin, it's referred to as the kingdom of Ta, P-T-A-H. The kingdom of Ta, who is the creator uh, and first ruler of the ancient Egypt, backing, uh, dating back to 39,000 years. Egyptology and histori historiographic teach us that the pre-dynastic era, era is, of Egypt is considered a myth without much historical value. However, the Palermo Stile is another incredible ancient text that mentions the pre-dynastic rulers of ancient Egypt, which also refers to the Egyptian god Horus, who had a na natural ruler of ancient Egypt thousands of years ago. Another Egyptian god, Thoth, we know him as Thoth the Atlantean, Thoth who wrote the Emerald Tablets. He says that he should be credited for building the Giza Pyramid Plateau and Sphinx, he, in the Emerald Tablets, and you'll find a playlist of Emerald Tablet 
I've read all of them for you. And it's amazing the technology describes that they had, Atlantean technology. So the Egyptians thought of him as a god, another Egyptian god, Thoth, is said to have reigned in the lands of ancient Egypt from 8,670 to 7,100 BC. That is 1,570 years of reigning. Obviously, the Atlanteans lived tens of thousands of years. It's, inter it's just like the Sumerian kings list tells us. It's interesting that these were pre-flood uh, civilizations, of course. It's interesting that the Egyptian high priest Manetho, who had access to unlimited ancient texts from the ancient library of Alexandria, and who wrote about Pharaoh in 30 volumes of the history of ancient Egypt, refers to the divine beings who ruled during pro pharaoh before the pharaohs. If you look at today's Egyptologists, you'll find that they also use the dating of Manetho, okay, the high priest Manetho, as a very reliable tool in the study, but for some reason, the Egyptologists themselves decide to avoid anything related to prehistoric dynasties, carefully choosing the details and what suits them and rejecting anything that does not fit their point of view. We can trace, uh, trace the leaders of Egypt of the very distant past to a series of ancient basic lists. The royal list of Abydos, for example, located on the wall of the temple of Seti I. That's where we have that lentil showing us very strange uh, glyphs of things that look like spaceship, spaceships, um, airplanes, helicopters, submarines, various vehicles that we have today that we never believed that Egyptian archaeology had. And as you can see here, clearly the one on the top left looks like a helicopter. Other things look like submarines. Other things look like aircraft and uh, jet airplanes that we have today. And these, of course, were ancient craft found in the Seti Temple of Abydos, Egypt. So, we can trace the leaders of Egypt of the very distant past to the series of the basic lists. The royal list of Abydos, located on the wall of the Temple of Seti, offering a chronological order of 76 rulers. In addition, the royal list of Karnak, located now in the Louvre Museum in Paris, has 61 rulers from Mene to Tutmosis III, these two lists offer us the tradition of Upper Egypt. The royal list of Saqqara shows 47 kings before and, among others, Ramesses II. On its original state, the papyrus must have been a beautiful model as the script is extremely good. It contains the names of kings, over 300 kings, with the duration of each reign in years, months, and days. The final version of the papyrus has not yet been made, as further study is expected to have more results. The papyrus begins like that of High Priest of Egypt, Manetho, with the dynasties of the gods, followed by the mortal kings, the four mortal uh, pharaohs. In other words, first there was the dynasties of the quote-unquote extraterrestrial ancient gods that came from the skies, followed by the human pharaohs. The layout on the papyrus is very similar to that of Manetho's epitome. Manetho provided us with many interesting details about the so-called divine leaders of ancient Egypt and their dynasties, which he divided into three different categories. The gods, the heroes, and the quote-unquote mothers but many other writers, such as Evsevius, the Bishop of Caesarea in Palestine, and Singulus, speaker of a number of um, gods who ruled, he speaks of a number of gods who ruled the earth for a total of 36,600 years. After this era comes the mortal pharaohs of ancient Egypt. So who were those who came from above from the heavens, from the skies, and ruled Egypt for more than 
36 and a half thousand years and some of them for over 1,500 years as in the case of Thoth. What do you think about this? Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Thank you.